I remember climbing to the conning tower and just standing there, staring off into the darkness. If you ask me today, I wouldn't be able to tell you exactly what I was thinking about. But I know that one thought in particular keeps swirling around my head. How foolish I have been. I have almost damned my boat and everybody on board with it with my rash decision to close with that escort. What was I thinking? I should know better than that. We are fortunate to have escaped that situation with only minor damage. If those death charges had landed even a meter closer to our boat. <sighs> we would be gone now. All those years in our lives leading up to this very moment and then gone. Just like that. And for what? Is this war really worth all the death, pain and suffering that we are inflicting on others? And that has almost been inflicted on us? Shouldn't the great war that our parents had to endure have taught the humanity a valuable lesson? That wars are senseless? Only for the benefit of a few powerful and rich people? A lesson so easily forgotten once they start showering you with praise and medals. We are being taught that the English want to destroy us. And no doubt, they are being told the same about us. And it's enough. It's enough for the cycle of madness to start again. I remained on the conning tower for hours. The watch crew changed. I didn't care. Until the cold finally got to me and I went down into the boat shivering. I immediately went to bed, hoping that some sleep would banish the thoughts from my head. But all I received were uneasy dreams. I woke up in the morning, not feeling rested, but exhausted. My throat hurt and my nose was running. I think I've managed to catch a cold. That was very stupid of me to stay out there in the cold wind on the conning tower for so many hours. But you can't really be ill as a commander of a submarine. I have to do my work. Work, work, work. We received a radio message from BDU. An enemy convoy has been spotted in our area. Course east. Speed 10 knots. I knew it. Those escorts, they were sweeping ahead of a convoy. This could be our chance to deliver a final powerful blow before we end our patrol. We immediately set an intercept course and moved in at high speed. My thoughts feel a bit sluggish. I hope I don't make any mistakes. Not this time. Kriegsschiff kommt näher auf 1,5. Große Entfernung. We had dived after reaching the interception point. And almost immediately we established contact with the convoy. Kontakt, Frachter, Entfernung gleichbleibend auf 2,7. Große Entfernung. Hello there and welcome to a new episode of our Silent Hunter 3 campaign with the One Alex Mod Edition. And today we finally have a convoy in our sights. Excuse me if my voice might be a bit rough. I think I'm coming down with a cold. But that shall not concern us today. Today we are going after a convoy and that will be a lot of fun of that I'm sure. We already have hydro from contacts. Let's have a look. So we are reporting contacts out to, let's say, 30 degrees here, long range. Contact, Frachter, kommt näher auf 1,9, große Entfernung. So Contact, let's give Frachter, this kommt näher auf zwei, zwei, große Entfernung. on this bearing. So that means they must be somewhere, oh, I don't know, somewhere out here maybe. Somewhere in that direction, somewhere on this line is my guess. So at this point, we should turn off. 
Increase our speed. Neuer Kurs, 3, 5, 9. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Ein Drittel fahrt voraus. I wanna have a listen. Okay. So that's them. That's the convoy. Yeah, that's a lot of different sounds. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, get us up to Periscope deck. Increase speed further. Get us up there. I will want to surface and to race ahead a little bit. But before we do that, let's take a quick look through the observation periscope. Hydrophone, give me a bearing to contact. This way. Do I see something? No. Nothing there. Everything is hidden in the fog. The weather is fairly poor today. That can also be a, an advantage to us, however, because it might help us to hide from prying eyes. And it might also dissuade British pilots from flying in this suit. Okay, down periscope. Surface. And increase speed. There we go. Going up there. Good. We have completed our turn. So my guess, if they are here and they are running in an in an easterly direction, I should come up somewhere to here maybe to intercept them. So let's do that. We are going here. That's not far away. About eight kilometers. This is the edge of BF15. This is where we are currently. Nice. Okay. We are up on the surface, but I... Yeah, the boat is struggling. Still struggling a little bit to get the engines running. To suck in air for those. But we are getting there. Now that you're on the surface, I want to know how deep these waters are here. 88. That's not a lot. That really isn't a lot. Yeah, 88. Really not a lot of room to play with. But we'll manage. If we should get uh, detected by destroyers, or by escorts in general, then we might be in big trouble. We don't have a lot of room for maneuvering and trying to escape. But never mind that. Oh! Jeez, the weather is terrible. Let's make sure that I have a good bridge crew. Let's also raise the radio antenna. There we go. Uh, actually, you can rest a little bit. I have one significant problem here in that my crew is still very tired. They didn't really have the chance to rest after the previous engagement. So I'm going into this one with a fairly tired crew. That can be a big danger in and of itself, but we'll just have to try it. We can't let a convoy slip past us. Weather today, as I said, very poor. Wind speed 12 meters per second. Poor visibility, so a little bit of fog out there. Wind speed of 12 meters per second means that we will have to set our torpedoes to at least 5 meters. Well, at least 4.8, but yeah, at least 5 meters in depth. So this could limit uh, our choice of targets that we can engage. But I'm fairly sure that inside the convoy we will find something that is large enough to allow us to engage it. Okay, with that all said, I think this is going to take a while before we spot anything. So, let me make a little cut here, and we'll resume once I have contact.
Welcome back. Something is happening over there. I see a flare. A flare in the sky. A red one. Oh, and a wave. I don't know what's happening. But that's certainly interesting. And it's gone. Is somebody in distress? Maybe a ship is in distress due to the weather. Or maybe there's another U-boat in the area taking shots at them. Which I don't believe. I don't think that's very likely. I didn't receive any radio reports about other U-boats in this area. So I'm going to disregard that opinion. But something is definitely happening in that direction. That was direction 305. Let's mark that on our map really quick. 305 is this way. So 306 degrees. Just drawing out the line here. So somewhere on this line, something has just happened. Okay, it's good that I'm progressing north. Absolutely the right decision. Should help me to intercept them. They must have changed course. Course east was reported. They are definitely not on an easterly course anymore. My guess is they changed their course and are now sailing northeast or east northeast towards the Bristol Channel or towards the Irish Sea. Any more flares? No, not really. What happened there, we don't know, and I think we'll never find out. We are going to continue towards a hopeful intercept. And once again, more flares are being launched. I can see them there, this time a pair of flares. Red flares. Shot up above the fog. And due to their intensity, very visible. Still, I can't see anything in that direction. And so I have to make a decision. Do I continue on this way? in hopes of intercepting the convoy? Or do I turn in and head towards whatever is happening there? I think the answer to that question is clear. I cannot afford to investigate whatever nonsense that is. My goal must be to intercept the convoy. Even though I am very curious. But I just can't investigate that right now. We are continuing on this course. Here we go. We have sighted our first ship. It's coming out of the fog over there. More flares are being launched in that direction. Still no idea what's going on. But we have made contact. Now our hydrophone operator earlier had also reported enemy warships accompanying the convoy. So there must be escorts. However, so far, I don't see a single one. I don't know where they are. I can only imagine that there must be one in front of the convoy, but for now I only see this single ship here. Wait. Do you see something? Oh yeah, look at that. A second one is just coming out of the fog. Well, well, well. Both look like nice targets, to be honest. The problem that I'm having today, though, is that I only have electrical torpedoes. Still, let's try to determine their course, if at all possible. Bring the user to the bridge. Let's see... Oh, what bearing... Can I find you? There's one. That's the second one. Where's the first one? Damn, these waves will make this... very difficult, won't they? Wait. Ship was on bearing... 
Jesus Christ, the waves are getting worse, I feel. Ship, walls, I'm going, come on, clear up. 280, a little bit less than that. So, right here, there it is. Let's take a good look at it and try to determine the angle on bow. Just by visual reference. That looks like more or less a 45 degree angle. A little bit more than 45 degrees, I think. Weapons officer. Attack disc. I think I'm looking at maybe 50 or 45. I think 50. That means that they are maybe sailing on a course of 50 degrees. That's a Look at that, more flares now in that direction. Wait, earlier the flares were over there, now they are... Are those signal flares? No idea. No idea, but it's very curious. What's that? Contact ahead, escort. That's an escort. Schiff gesichtet. Bearing 320. Definitely an escort. So there's one over there in that direction. Okay, good to know. Let's look for targets. Ship number one. Ship number two looks like it could be a fairly heavy one. And number three is just appearing out of the fog. Still no clue what it is though. Let's look for other ships past number one. Yeah, there is something. I'm staying on this course for now. Escort was on, what was it, 320, wasn't it? Yeah. There it is. Looks like... Single smokestack. Probably a corvette or frigate. Not a full-blown destroyer. Well, that's something. Depth on the keel. Damn it. It's shallower than I thought it would be. We have only about 60 meters. More ships are appearing out of the fog now. Okay, that one is small. This one... Regular size. There is one that could be worthwhile. And we have here ship number one with the red funnel. Let's remember that one. This one is still interesting to me. And something else... Still appearing outside, uh, out of the fog, but taking its sweet time to do so. There's something else peeling itself out, itself out of the fog over there. Well, well, well. That's a huge smoke column, isn't it? Is there a ship on fire? That smoke column is substantial. Is that just from the funnel or is that ship on fire? Bearing 257. You see? Bearing 257. Oh. The waves will make this nearly impossible. But maybe, just maybe, the boat will calm down for a moment. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. No. It's not calming down at all. Wow. It's getting worse. Maybe now? No, I can't see anything apart from a huge column of smoke. That ship must be on fire. That's why they are launching flares. They have a ship on fire inside the convoy. Let's have a look. I'm getting fairly close to them. Let's turn... ...and keep our distance. Until we can determine a few things here. The escort, we are getting close to that as well. I don't want a repeat of the last engagement. There it is. Clear as day. Maybe I've gotten too close already. my fascination with those damn flares. Let's have a look. Let's pick targets. 
this one is looking interesting. This one isn't too shabby either. This one is very interesting. Oh, there's another one that could be interesting. That's the one that is maybe on fire. What else do I see? Escort. Plowing through the waves just as we are. Let's go ahead and try to send out a radio report here. Something that we should have done earlier. I need a clear view on something for that though. This is ridiculous with the waves. Let's go with you. The angle is now much less than 45 degrees. Lock on. Weapons officer, I am looking at... Let's give it 35. So yeah, course of about 50 degrees seems about right. Let's dial this in. The convoy speed was, was reported as 10 knots. I'll lower that to 9 due to the weather. Um, yeah. And range, I'll give 3 kilometers. Radio operator. Send contact report. Report has been sent. There we go. Let's have a quick look, review our report. Convoy speed 9 knots, estimated course 53. Very nice. That's correct. Last waypoint reached. Oh, don't give me that. I don't care. Keep up the speed. Flares. That direction. So there's something else over there. Escort ship over there. If I turn in now towards them, I imagine that I might be able to close the distance sufficiently. The escort ship won't have a chance to respond. I still need their speed. Should we try it? Should we turn in now and commence the attack? Shh. Jesus Christ. Should I dive the boat? First of all, let's retract the radio antenna. We don't need that any longer. Oh my god. Weather report, 12 meters per second still. It feels like a lot more than that. Which targets do I pick? I need to do that before we dive. So as I said, this one isn't looking too bad. And then there's that one directly behind it. Two good targets. I don't know if I will pick out anything else once I close the distance. I might. Of great concern to me is the very limited range of our electric torpedoes. Only 3 kilometers. And they are incredibly slow. That means I have to get kinda close to them. Turn in and go. Yeah, I think we are commencing the attack. Let's see, how long are you? That ship has a length of more or less... Oh, I would say 110, 120 meters, something in that vicinity. So let's try to take a speed reading on that thing by turning right in front of it. Turn the boat. Come on, swing us around. Unlock the user. Don't want some annoying ticking sound while I turn the boat. We are coming about. Good, 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 good. Slow down the boat a little bit. Jesus Christ, the waves are insane. My god. 
Well, it's still here. Still here. Slow us down. Slow us right down. Don't want to approach too fast. Perisco, um, user front. Let's look for targets. This one is fairly short, I imagine. 100 meters. This one seems to be a bit longer. We can measure multiple ships and compare the results that we get. But first of all, they need Schiff to come gesichtet. to my view. I can turn the boat a bit more. And we are keeping an eye out for additional targets. This one... Yeah, that ship is definitely on fire. Look at Schiff that. Gesichtet. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. We are getting there. More ships appearing out of the fog. Oh, come on. The waves are incredibly annoying. How close are we getting to them? This is getting dicey. Let's not push our luck. Let's do a quick measurement here. And then, and then submerge. Let's go with this one if we can, if the waves allow it. Start the clock. I will immediately switch to the other ship. No, this is this is all kinds of wrong, I think. Or is it? Not sure. I'll repeat the measurement with the other ship. Are we turning? Damn it, we are being turned by the waves. That's an issue. Okay, now we aren't. We set the clock. Prepare to take a speed measurement on this ship. And... Start. Length. Yeah, about 120 meters sounds right. And I'm getting kind of close to it. We will definitely have to dive. I will definitely be annoyed by these waves. Come on. Stop. Should be okay. Right? Yeah. 39 seconds, length 120, that means speed of about 6 knots. Okay. That's... I feel that that's unreliable. Submerge the boat. I don't think we have been discovered yet. Let's hope it stays that way until we can submerge here. Come on, bring us under. Turn us a little bit. Oh, damn it. Hit the wrong button. Submerge, come on. I'm going to the attack posco. And I will start to set up everything. All torpedoes, impact. There we go. Now, all torpedoes will also be set to a depth of 6 meters. There we go. That's done. Now switch to salvo shooting. 
First salvo will be tubes 1 and 4. Spread 2 degrees for now. And let's raise the periscope. First look towards the escort. Any sign of discovery? No. That's fine. Here we have the target that we are after. Well, one of them. This thing here isn't half bad. Still observing the targets. We might have... On this ship over here, almost 90 degrees AOB. Let's take a quick look. And compare that to our previous results. So I'm looking at maybe 80 to 85 degrees here. Puts their course, yeah, close to 50. 50 is good. So if they're on a course of 50 degrees, we need to bring our boat. Oh, come on. There we go. Then we need to bring our boat right to 320. Turn that way. In this weather, uh, it is fairly difficult for them to spot my periscope. So this is giving me a bit of an advantage. You know what? This ship here might actually become my target. Range to target. Let's see. Mast height. Let's give it 25 meters. Optical height is... 4. Optical height 4. 25. One and a half kilometers. Speed of the targets is still an issue. I'm not sure I should go with um, six knots. I will drop it to seven. Come on. Do I have time to calculate the speed? with one of the advanced techniques. Auswanderungsverfahren. I could. You know what, let's... What is that? What are you? Another freighter. Freighter on fire. Full blown on fire. Very nice. Oh, flares over there. Okay, these ones are now crossing through the zero line. I'm taking another speed reading here. Ship length. Unsure about the ship length. Maybe... No, 130 or something like that. I mean, it has three big masts and superstructures. Could be even 150. 140, 150. We are going to 140. That was just 30 seconds this time. Okay, that's less than earlier. That's much less than earlier. I'm surprised. At 132, yeah, that would bring the speed up to 10 knots. Let's go with 9. My earlier measurement must have been wrong. But the, what are you? You look big. Okay, let's not get distracted here. Periscope at zero. I will be shooting at a 90 degree starboard angle. Let's stall that in. Range will be more or less one and a half. There we go. That's set up. How far away is that thing? Range to target. Let's see optical height. One and a half. Mast height. Let's give it 25. Yeah, that's putting it at over three kilometers, so we are not reaching that. This thing is closing in nicely. And I think this will be my target might try to hit something else as well. I might just opt to go for this one. 
this is the ship sailing directly behind that one. But it has already passed the point where I need to fire. So we are holding off on that. Hmm. Range to target on you. Range. Optical height. Three. More or less. With a mast height of... I'm giving you 28. Range to target. Slightly over two. Open tubes. Both tubes open. AOB should be okay. Speed, well, that's guesswork. Spread angle for the salvo. Let's do two degrees, that's fine. Torpedoes one and four, go. Run time to target. Two minutes. Oh, wrong button. Two minutes. Now for you. Range to target. Optical height. Seven and a half. Mast height 25, range 750. Let's drop the range to 6. Select tubes 2 and 3. Open the tubes. Run time for the torpedoes half a minute. That means we will wait. Hold on. Okay. I'll fire very soon, I have to. Spread angle for the salvo. Let's do four degrees. Tubes are open. making sure there's no other target that is more worthwhile. No, not really. Okay, we have to fire. Now! Turn us around. Drop down to 50 meters. Let's commence torpedo reloads. Down periscope. Weapons officer, get inside the torpedo room. Start reloading those babies. Let's bring everybody forward who can help us with this endeavor. I need quick reloads. You hear a torpedo running. But I know that hearing isn't as nice as looking. And, well... I don't think it's doing any harm if we take a look like this. Just to see the explosion. Oh, simultaneous impacts. Oh, that's awesome. Did it. Simultaneous impacts on both targets. Couldn't have gone better. I'm not sure if I will managed to achieve one or two impacts per ship. In any case, this convoy now has a serious problem. And I am turning way too much. I didn't pay attention to this. Yeah, it's okay. Increase speed. Get us out of here. Get us out of here. 
we are now reloading two tubes. That will take some time. And of course the destroyers, or whatever kind of escort they have, will now be after us. Let's listen in. I still hear a torpedo. There's still one of our torpedoes out there. There's a very faint chance that it might connect with something. Warship coming from that way. Torpedo that way. Yeah, just the one torpedo. So one ship must have received two hits. The other one hasn't. But I don't think there's anything pulling in front of this torpedo, so that's gonna miss. Let's see, they were sailing on a course of 50 degrees. I should turn more right. To get away from them. Kinda messed up my escape plan here. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. Listening. Warship coming from that direction. Wait a moment. Oh, I didn't put anybody on hydrofilm duty. Hydrofilm, give me an update on the nearest warship contact. Let's see, 27 medium range. Yeah, that thing is running in. Okay, we are completing this turn now. I'm heading towards that guy, I don't like that. Turn. Come on, complete this turn. And then I'm slowing down. Actually, I'm slowing down right now. That thing must be getting close now. And even though the conditions are terrible, I don't want to risk it. Hydrofern, update on the warship. Medium range still. That's fine. Let's try to evade while we reload these two torpedoes. That will take all oh, more or less 16 to 17 minutes. I can then try to re-engage the convoy. We also still have a, tu a torpedo in the rear tube, a steam-driven one. I'm keeping that one in reserve to finish off any ship that we might hit and that refuses to sink. Contact, Frachter, Entfernung gleichbleiben. Auf 1, 3, 4, große Entfernung. Good, thankfully Contact, we are completing Frachter, the turn. Entfernung gleichbleiben. Auf 1, 5, 3, große Entfernung. Okay. Give me another update on the nearest warship. Moving slow, 9, 6. Maybe they don't know where we are. That's my hope right now. They don't know where we fired from. Hmm. I wouldn't say that he's in a search pattern yet, but maybe I'm wrong. Hydrofern, give me constant updates on the newest warship. Kriegsschiff, Entfernung gleichbleibend auf 1, 0, 0. Constant distance, that sounds wonderful. Kriegsschiff auf 1, 0, 1. Entfernung gleichbleibend. Oh wait, are there more than that? Kriegsschiff auf 102. Entfernung gleichbleibend. Directly behind me. Terrible, terrible noises can be heard. Kriegsschiff auf 103. Entfernung gleichbleibend. 
that is probably a ship breaking apart. Kriegsschiff auf 104, Entfernung gleichbleibend. Or flooding. Water rushing into the hull. Kriegsschiff auf 105, Entfernung gleichbleibend. Only one warship in this direction. Interesting. Kriegsschiff auf 107, Entfernung gleichbleibend. I can't really come up to the surface while we are reloading the torpedoes. Kriegsschiff auf 108, Entfernung gleichbleibend. If I come up to periscope depth, we uh, won't be able to reload because the waves will still be rocking the boat. Kriegsschiff auf 109, Entfernung gleichbleibend. So the best thing to do right now is to stay down here until at least one torpedo is reloaded and then start to slowly creep up. This will take some time, so let's make a cut here and I'll bring you back... Thank you. And I'll bring you back once I have an update on the situation. The hydrophone is reporting a ship going down. We can actually go ahead and take a look see what we just sank. We sank a large steamer Type 3 of 5,230 tons. Now I'm not sure which one of the two that is, but that's 5,230 tons to our credit. So one of the two went down already, the other one is still out there. And there's another update. We still have the warship here, but there's another one coming up on the left side. Actually, hydrofin operator, which one is closest? She's going down. We have another one down. Okay, 212. This one is now closest. This one... I'm not sure about. Let's... Oh! Okay, the second thing that I hit, it was a warship, it was an auxiliary cruiser, 13,850 tons. And Jesus Christ, that's a big firework up there. That must be the auxiliary cruiser being blown to bits by internal explosions. Wait. Yeah, the warship contact on this side is gone. The auxiliary cruiser was the warship contact. Oh man. I didn't realize that it is an auxiliary cruiser. Thir over 13,000 tons. 13,850 tons. Awesome. Our report will of course mention that this was completely on purpose. <laughs> But now, now I have something else to worry about. What's this one doing? Hydrophone? Constant distance, that's good. I hope it isn't coming closer to us. Still, we are going to follow that new contact. And hope that we can get far enough away from it. While we still reload the tubes. One tube has been reloaded. Now it's nine and a half minutes for the other. Kriegsschiff auf zwei, zwei, fünf. Entfernung gleichbleibend. Since this other ship doesn't seem to be coming towards us, I will decrease my depth. Bring us up to 34 meters, yeah. From there we can reach periscope depth a little bit sooner. Okay, this is going to take some more time. I now know what kind of targets I hit, and I'm very happy. Four torpedoes fired, but damn was it worth it. That's almost 20,000 20, tons gone. Just like that. Awesome. But will we get away with those awesome results? Or will the escort enact a terrible revenge? Will we be able to set up for another attack? You will see that next time. For now... Thank you very much for watching, and I do hope that you have enjoyed today's episode. 
until then, have some great days and goodbye.